Coming up on Midco Sports tonight, we reveal the list. This week it's our top five FCS running backs in the Dakotas. Our panel gives their thoughts about these talented RBs. Then it's a Bison breakdown with the Bryans. Brian Sean talks NDSU football with former player and current cornerbacks coach Brian Shepard. And finally, the real Rudy from Notre Dame made a stop in Fargo. We'll bring you an exclusive interview and story. All of that plus much more, Midco Sports Tonight kicks off right now. Hello and happy Wednesday, everyone. I'm Kelly Stewart, and this is Midco Sports Tonight. Every week, we like to come out with some type of list showcasing the top five of something in a certain sports category. Last week, it was high school quarterbacks in the Dakotas. This week, it's the top FCS running backs between these two states. Our Midco SN FCS experts put their votes in, and here's what we came up with. Starting in a tie for fifth place, two guys with the same first name, South Dakota State's Brady Mengarelli and North Dakota's Brady Oliveira. We'll start with the SDSU Jackrabbit, a 5'10", 195-pound senior out of Prescott, Arizona. He's led the Jacks in rushing for the past two seasons, putting down 754 yards on the ground a year ago and 742 in 2015. Last season, Mangarelli earned a second team All-Missouri Valley honors and was named the MVFC Offensive Player of the Week following his career best performance against rival South Dakota, where he went for 284 all-purpose yards and a season-high 161 yards rushing on 21 carries. As for the fighting hawk, Oliveira, he's a 5'10", 220-pound junior that's known for running violently. The Winnipeg native played as a true freshman, but has definitely gotten better every year. In his sophomore campaign, he earned third-team All-Big Sky honors and was also named to the Hero Sports FCS All-Sophomore team as a running back. Oliveira finished the season with 897 rushing yards and a team-best 10 rushing touchdowns, with his best performance coming at Montana State, where he went for 171 yards and two touchdowns. So far this year, Oliveira is leading the Fighting Hawks in rushing at just under 63 yards per game, while averaging seven yards per carry. Moving on to number four, the youngest on the list, South Dakota true freshman Kai Henry. Standing at 5'8 and 195 pounds, Bob Nielsen says he's much more powerful than you'd expect at his size. Though he's only played three games in a coyote uniform, he's notched three rushing touchdowns on the year and is coming off an explosive performance against North Dakota where he went for 80 yards on 12 carries with two touchdowns. The future is bright for this explosive back from Miami. Rolling in at number three, it's our first bison on the list in Bruce Anderson. This junior from Ruskin, Florida, is our tallest back on the list, standing at 5'11", 220. He's been playing since his true freshman year in 2015, earning a spot in the Missouri Valley All-Newcomer team that season. Last year, he played in 9 of 14 games for the Bison, missing some due to an ankle injury. But when healthy, he's NDSU's primary kick returner as well. Anderson is off to an impressive start this year, coming off a career game at then seventh ranked Eastern Washington, where he carried 23 times for 160 yards and a touchdown. Our number two pick is USD UND's John Santiago. When you think of this guy, you think Wiggle. At 5'9", 180, he moves effortlessly and has some of the quickest feet in the FCS. The Andover, Minnesota native has been getting it done for UND since his true freshman season in 2015, where he earned stats and Associated Press second team All-America honors as a running back, as well as being a unanimous All-Big Sky first team selection. In his sophomore campaign, he garnered more All-America honors, earning second team as a return specialist from Stats and Hero Sports Network. Santiago's numbers have been impressive every year, but he finished 2016 with 983 rushing yards, 500 kick return yards, and 1,600 all-purpose. So far this year, he's got 158 yards and one touchdown through three games, but is fully capable of going off now in Big Sky play. And finally, our top FCS running back in the Dakotas goes to NDSU's Lance Dunn. He was picked in the top spot by three of our four FCS guys, and for good reason. The junior from Waterloo, Iowa, led the Valley a year ago with an average of six yards per carry and ranked third in the league with 996 rushing yards and fifth with a team-high 71.1 rushing yards per game. He's off to an outstanding start through two games this year, rushing for 142 yards and two touchdowns on just seven carries in the season opener against Mississippi Valley State, and 148 yards and three touchdowns on 19 carries at then seventh ranked Eastern Washington on September 9th. It's simple math, but that puts him at 145 and two 
yards and two and a half touchdowns per game heading into this weekend. So that rounds out our top five FCS backs in the Dakotas, which was actually the top six, but also in the conversation were USD's Michael Frederick and SDSU's Mikey Daniel. A lot of talent going on. We'll dive right into that with our FCS panel coming up right after this break. And also later in the show, the real Rooney from Notre Dame was in Fargo this week and we got an exclusive interview with him. So stay tuned. But it's the running back breakdown discussion next on Midco Sports Tonight. Midco Sports Tonight, presented by Avera Orthopedics. <laughs> 